I was basically raised up by my grandpas and my mothers, back and forward. And um, they, they, um, they made me believe in Christianity since I was a child. And um, they taught me in, in school. I mean, it's, a, it's, atmosphere, it's an atmosphere of Christianity all over around. Because um, it's a shame that there is no other contact of other religions, of other beliefs. As, as you know, Christianity is, um, is um, like having the authority of the people's uh, heart. Like they, they believe blindly, not thinking, not rethinking about that if it's true or not. Uh, they just believe it. Like I remember myself going to church every Sunday, every Sunday when I was with my parents, with my grandpas, sorry, with, I was with my grandpas. They used to take me to church on Sunday. We we'll dress up nicely and go to listen to Mass. And then, oh, it was great, the Mass. But did we understand something? I remember that uh, when, we, when we attended the uh, church, is, you know, there is this always, um, always happening that um, you listen to the Mass, but you never really go to the Bible and check if it's true or not, and your own opinion, what you really think about it. You just take it for known, for, for that it is true, that whatever you heard is true. And you go on with it the whole weekend after weekend, Sunday after Sunday. Um, even though I am from the south of Mexico, uh, at my, when I was 10 years old, we moved to the north of Mexico, on the border of United States and Mexico. So uh, later on, when I was 23 years old, then I met my husband. And um, to my mother, it seemed to be like, well, uh, he, he looks like a cute guy. He's nice. And there is no problem, there is no problem with that. So we, we went on with the marriage. And after three years later, I got pregnant with my daughter. Um, but uh, at the time that we married, at the time that we married, there was a promise of both of us. My, his, my promise to him, it was that our children will be Muslim. To me, I thought, you know, it's, he's such a beautiful and nice guy that uh, there is no problem with my, with my future children to become Muslim. They, they, he's enchanting, he's so charming. So um, I had no problem with that. But, um, and my promise to him, it was that don't ever come with a second or third or fourth wife. He said, no, no, don't worry about that. It's just, this is a matter of kind of religion and tradition. And in my family, we don't marry twice or three times or four times. So don't worry about that. I said, well, no problem, so we can marry. When I, have, when I had my baby in my arms, it was like the biggest gift Allah has given me. At that time, I said, I have to raise up this child in my faith, the true faith. What I, what I believe is what true faith, because I did not know anything else than Christianity. So at the time uh, that, Fas that Fatima was, ra was growing up, I was teaching her my religion. Of course, it was behind my husband's back, but I had no choice. I, I um, like in the morning, at night, when he was an, at work, I would bring up my Bible, I would just read a passage, regardless whether I understand it or not. I'll bring up my cross, and I said, Fatma, now, in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, and this whole thing, and now we're going to ask him, and uh, uh, we're going to ask him to take care of you, and, and so on. And so she was believing in it. I made sure that she was, raised, she was being raised as Christian, and I, I want her 
don't let my husband family let know uh, to know about it and um, I remember every night I'll bring my my cross my um, uh, Bible and every prayer that I had Fatma now kiss kiss the cross and in the Father the Son the Holy Spirit and ask ask him whatever you want next night we will ask Santa Teresa S Saint, Saint Teresa or any other saint, uh, Saint Anthony, and whatever cross in your mind. Um, the next night, we'll ask the angels. Next night, um, the Virgin Mary, and so on. But one night, we had no one else to ask. I, I mean, we, I, really, I ran out of saints. So I said, Fatima, now we're going to ask God. And uh, she said, OK, now who is God? Who is, who is God? I said, is the one who created you, who created me, and he is forever and ever. So she was pondering. She was thinking about those words. And to my explanation, then I brought my cross again. I said, no, no, thank God. I mean, I, I was bringing the cross. And she looked at the cross, and she said, Mama, who is this? I said, this is God. He's the son of God. Allah. Then she told me, but you, you, you just told me a minute ago that God is forever. How come this one is dead? <laughs> and I, I never, never in my whole life realized that fact. She asked me, where does this God come from? I said, well, it comes from the womb of Mary, of the Virgin Mary. She said, oh, so he was born uh, sometime before. I said, well, yes, but then she said, you told me that he's forever, and he, he never died, and he's never born. It was contra contradictory. She, she, she started to tear apart my Christianity. And I saw her and said, how, how can I make her believe in this? At that time, when Fatima started me to ask me many questions, about the Virgin Mary, how come you told me that God uh, is alone, has the power alone, and you ask the Virgin Mary, and you ask the angels, do they have power? I said, well, let me think about it. You know, it's, it's something that you were raised on in this belief. And, and in Mexico, we are like all Catholic. I mean, most, most of the people is Catholic. You, nev you never rethink of the power of the uh, submission, total submission only to Allah. You never think of that. So, at that time I said, I, I have to, I need help. Someone help me. I'm drowning. I'm, I'm my Christianity is uh, turning in pieces. So I went to church, to this Christian Catholic church in San Mary in, here in Dubai. I had contact with my, uh, this nun, this, um, this nun, okay? Uh, and other people there in the convent. I was in three days talk with, with them for hours. I was asking and asking questions. And, and what they came up with, they said, well, you must believe it, because this is what God ordered you to do. You must believe in Christianity, because this is the truth. I said, but give me proof. Give me a proof. This is the proof, your Bible. But I, 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 I complain to them. You know, it's contradictory in some passages. And, and give me the original. H how can I believe in that? And they got just upset and desperate. I said, this is your religion and you must believe in it. I said, fine. You know, after, after coming up with no reasoning from them to me and from me to them, there is no logical and no um, clearness. I, I left the convent, and at that time I said, there is no complete peace in my Christianity. I'm, I'm, it's, it's gone. It's gone forever. I mean, there is no, I don't find any truthness in it. After that, I felt this emptiness in my heart. So I, was, I started to do the dua, the praise, the praising to God, and I said, please, God, in my words, in Spanish, God, you are the one who listens, who always listens. Please, who do I have to follow to come to you direct? 
Christianity or the Muslims, which to my reasoning, there was, there was no improvement in, in Islam to my, to my opinion, because the way the people act, you cannot say they are better. Uh, and I mean, honestly, I mean, you see many women wearing the hijab halfway and the, the makeup, one kilo makeup in each eye, the abaya, I, you see it, most of, most of the Muslim women is just for adornment or for tradition. You don't see that, that iman, that faith, that they are wearing it because of faith. And the men, they are just same like Mexico, same like America, and same like everywhere else. There is no major impact, impact that you can say, oh, you know, maybe they are right. No, there is, there is nothing major happening. Anyway, in, in my faith, in my heart, I needed the true guidance. So for a whole month, I was just like seeing my daughter um, needing these right answers. I could not give her any um, a believed answer, believed it, just because I was raised up like that. I needed to give her the true answer. I was making my dua, please God, Help me, help me. When I, when, when I was going to bed, when I woke up, uh, this was like, like um, a stubbornness of myself that I must walk in the right way. Because I was raised up as a believer, in Christianity, but as a believer. Then um, it was like about three years before, in the th three Ramadans before, that few days before that Ramadan, I had a dream. I had a dream that changed my life totally. I dreamed that I saw myself wearing the white hijab with the white dress. And I saw myself looking, looking myself like, like a Muslim. And I was in a small white room. And I look at my both sides, and I have my two daughters holded by my both hands and my on my sides, and they were wearing the same white dress that I was wearing, the white hijab. In this small room, we were praising Allah. We were making sujood to Allah. I was speaking in Arabic, the surahs, and I was so um, overwhelmed by this, that this is, this is the right way to praise God. Still though, on my right side, I saw a small door, and I saw the shaitan. And he will not enter this white room. He was just there, standing, like in fire. You know, I saw his eyes was like, like uh, in fire. And he, and he told me, don't become Muslim. Don't believe in Islam. Stay Christian or be anything you want to be. And he started telling me bad words in Spanish. He tried to scare me. But I don't know how come out of my mouth the words "Audu billahi min shaitan rajim." I said it, and it was like a wind grabbed him out of this place, and I felt no um, no fear in my heart. I grabbed my, my two daughters again, and we start, we continue praising God. And every time we were coming, standing up from sujood, every Allahu Akbar, our bodies were bigger and bigger. And again, Allahu Akbar, and we were bigger and bigger. In one of those sujood, when I, we said, Subhana, Subhana Rabbil Ala, Subhana Rabbil Ala, Subhana Rabbil Ala, on the floor, I heard Allahu Akbar. I came back to my consciousness, and this was the Adhan of Fajr. And at that time, I said myself consciously, full awake, Allahu Akbar. I was totally sure, I was 100% sure that God has answered my question. What is the right way, the only right way to come to God? Islam. Right now, I'm so thankful that God has made me Muslim because 
This is to be Muslim, as we know. This is the difference of going to the fire forever, forever. There is no one year, ten, ten years, a hundred years, a thousand years. It's a thousand and a thousand and forever and ever. Inshallah, I will be of the chosen ones. And because I love my babies, I want to raise them up as a true Muslims. After my dream, when I realized the whole thing, I felt taqwa in my heart. So I went to grab whatever cloth I had in my, in my house. I covered myself. And I fear not to be in the right way of God. I want only to be in the right way from that time until now. And inshallah, until the day I die. I asked my husband mother at that time, please tell me how can I be Muslim? Now, now, I want to be Muslim. So she took me to a lawkaf to make my shahada. I did it then. I came back. Three days later on, Ramadan started. It was like, like a dream. And I don't want to wake up from my dream. I want to go on with it. I, I started fasting with no problems at all. I was sleeping with my mom that, that night, and my mom used to tell me that um, my mom used to tell me that I, I, you should kiss the cross, and and she used to read me parts about the Bible, and she had the Bible in her hands, and she said, "You open it." I I asked her, but if he if he looks a dead man, he told me he didn't die and he didn't live and he wasn't born. I was getting ready to face my family for the first time, me as Muslim. It was a big challenge. It was a big challenge because would they accept me? What's going to be their reaction? But I had to face them sooner or later. I said, next year, next year. No, no, no. I had to do it sooner or later. So we were in the way. When I was there, it was everyone to meet me. Like, any, I mean, it's the same person. It's just like, just that now I'm, I have the truth in my heart out. You know, this fitra, seed, it was just starting to grow in myself. When my mother saw me, she said, well, yeah, yes, she, she saw me covered. I, I did not take off my hijab at all. At all. It was my faith the whole time. And it was, it was my duty to spread Islam in, even though with my one year knowledge. I had to do it. Whatever I knew, La ilaha illallah, O Muhammad Rasulullah, I had to spread it, whether they believe it or not. Whatever I knew about Islam, I had to tell my family. When they saw me praying, they want to see what I'm doing. They want to see, they want to know, but they were not really there to ask me. When they saw me praying, and I, I stand up, I, I finish my salah, I said, oh, so you exercise when you're praying? Others told me, oh, now you believe your Mother Teresa yourself? Yeah, this Mother Teresa of Calcutta. And I said, I'm a true Muslim. As you don't have to be a nun to practice the true religion. I mean, you don't have to uh, look like that. I mean, they couldn't, they couldn't, they told me if, if you're a nun, you must cover. You, you don't have to look like that. Uh, uh, I said, you know, this is part of the belief. Like the Virgin Mary, she covered, we covered. This is, this is the best example of a woman. One of the best ones, and the best one. So we must follow her. You know, like I told you, if you believe in it, you do it. It was a big shock for all of my family. And especially because, the, I would say, the American media, the CNN in Spanish, has taken charge on spreading what Muslims, terrorists, are like. That's, that's why in my family in Mexico, in my, uh, in my city, they, they could not um, connect the idea that a normal person, a good practitioner, 
could be a good Muslim, could be a Muslim. This was the whole idea. It was just like a, a opposing ideas that a terrorist and a good, pract good practitioner of, of the deen, how can it be? And I explained to them, as there are good Christians and bad Christians, there's good Muslims and wrongdoing Muslims. I mean, unfortunately, but this is, this is the reality. And inshallah, all of us will become like true brothers and sisters. This is, this is another issue that, that inshallah, you know, I'm very concerned about that. That we are not like, oh, I'm Mexican, I am Arab, I am, uh, first of all, we are Muslim sisters and brothers. This is our first identity. I, I wish, you know, all of us will become like that. Like, and I mean, th this is not the true, this is not the true in reality. You go to the street, oh, yes, oh, uh, nice to meet you. Oh, I am uh, German or I am, uh, I am local. Oh, no, no, I am Palestinian. You know, all of this uh, first word of identity. And, and to me, when they ask me, I say, I am a Muslim and I am from Mexico, which is, I mean, this is not a major important fact. I'm a Muslim. This is the most important thing. And um, about my children reaction, first, Fatima was like, Mama, ah, but you told me, never listen to the, to the Arabs. I mean, to me, it was the Arabs. It was not the Muslims. Because you see it like that. They picture themselves like that. And when I realized the whole Islam, I was so mad up to now. Why they never told me a word? What if I die on kufur, on, I mean, being kafir? And my husband never told me a word. He just, the only thing he just said, to me sometimes and you think he said and you think and you think this is your right the right way and you think this is the right way to praise and you believe in this book but other word than that not him not his family not Arab people will give me a hint it's like they are busy with themselves or or I mean, I question myself, they don't believe in their own deen? I don't know. You know, like these people that they are born Muslim, they are like, oh, I, in one word, they don't realize the gift that Allah has given them, in my opinion. They, they don't see what is this gift. It's heaven. Someday, of course, someday, but it's going to be someday, but it's going to be heaven. Uh, it's the difference. Heaven and hell. They don't realize this fact. Because if they, if they did, they would have told me and, tell, and told anyone else, I mean, every, everyone around them about Islam. They don't mention it. You just see them praying the five times a day, who pray five times a day, and that's it. But I wish in me and my babies, we can do a difference in Islam to the society around us. This is my hope. I'm, I'm, very pl I'm very proud to be a Muslim and that my mom is helping me to be better Muslim every day. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Iqra bismi rabbika alladhi khalaq Khalaq al-insana min alaq Iqra wa rabbuka al-akram الذي علم بالقلم علم الإنسان ما لم يعلم